What's up everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm in Miri, the city that I used to live in. I'm gonna do so many cool things here. It's gonna be a great adventure. Let's get this video started. This is Lil, we'll give it. Alright, I'm in the beautiful Miri and of course the first stop that you gotta make here is the Tamu. Alright, it's always hot and sunny here in Miri but uh, it's okay, it's all good and our first stop, my first stop will be here at the market, at the central market of Miri. See what kind of fruit they're selling today. So yeah, this is the big market here in Miri and they sell so many different kinds of vegetables, fruits and uh, basically anything you need for a good and healthy meal. So there are two buildings here at the central market in Miri and one of the buildings where I was just now they mainly sell fruits, veggies, some dried fish and uh, whatnot. And then here at this other building they sell all the native food. So that's blachan, I believe you can get some handicraft here, you can get some sago pearls as well. So very interesting. Alright so this uh, man right here is preparing some of the blachan and I must say Perhaps the best blachan in all of Sarawak can only be found in Miri and maybe Bintulu. So blachan is very famous here in Sarawak and it kind of goes with everything. It's like a, it's a shrimp paste made from these tiny shrimps and it's made into a paste and you can mix it with all your cooking. And perhaps the most famous dish that has blachan in it is uh, I believe laksa but I must, I could be mistaken. No. It definitely has blood as well. Another amazing product you can find here at the market is the oh so smelly tumpoyak. This is fermented durian and it's definitely one of my favorites. Look at that. Oh, if only you could smell this. Alright, so I'm in Miri and the first place I should visit, anyone should visit when you visit here is the Summit Cafe. They have the most amazing Philippine food here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna dig in. I'm never gonna <laughs> Alright, we've got so much food here. Amazing veggies. Mmm, there's pork here. And really, this is probably the nicest bit food that you can find outside of Barrio. The food is so good here. Mm. Yummy. Alright, I'm at my next location here in Miri and of course that is the Miri Handicraft Center. Let's uh, check it out. I've been here once before when they were still uh, building it so let's see what they're selling here. Definitely a lot of nice handicraft. <laughs> This here, my very good friend here, is wearing one of the traditional Orang Ulu hats. Now, how cool is that? So pretty, so nice. All right, I'm at my next place, and if you're visiting Mary, of course, you have to make your way up to this hill here. It has a beautiful view over Mary, and this is called Canada Hill. So this is it. This is Canada Hill, and you definitely have a great view of Mary right behind me and the sea behind there, and. Uh, yeah, wow, it's been years since I've been here and the view is still as pretty as I remember. So on top of Canada Hill, they drilled the first ever oil well here in Mary in 1910. And this oil well is called the Grand Old Lady. Hey, hey, and another place you should definitely visit when you're in Miri is the Piasau Nature Reserve. So here on the Piasau Peninsula, which is uh, along the Miri River, and of course it's right here in Miri, there used to be a lot of beautiful bungalows for the people that used to work at the Shell. There used to be a big Shell oil operations here. However, the big Shell operation closed down and then they started knocking down these old bungalows and now this place is being reintroduced as a nature reserve. 
so there's a lot of birds there's a bit of wildlife coming back and just a lot of beautiful nature here so let's go for a walk in Piazzal a nature reserve so a few years ago they've opened up this uh, interpretation center it's a little museum here at Piazzal nature reserve and it's it's beautiful it's very new and fresh and rather interesting so it's all about the flora and fauna of Piazzal nature reserve and yeah it's uh, definitely a nice place to visit and after this we're gonna go into the jungle uh what no one told me anything about snakes when i used to live in miri i lived not too far from the psl nature reserve and regularly i would come here for a walk or for a run because it's really nice there's a, Mary is a pretty reasonable city, so there's a lot of buildings and tall buildings, a lot of houses everywhere. And then be able to just cross the river and go to a little piece of nature like this is absolutely lovely. What I love most about this place is that this used to be a housing area, so there used to be houses here and there. And then at one point they decided to give this taste, this, this area, back to nature. And yes, nature has definitely come back and uh, yeah. So behind me is a very special tree here at the Piazzao Nature Reserve because this tree right here, that is actually the nest of the hornbill. There's one or two hornbill families here and I just spotted one high in the tree. Yes, there are hornbills here and they call Piazzao Nature Reserve their home. So that is where they nest and you can actually see a camera there as well. So that is definitely the spot where they live. Right. Yeah. So yeah, there's definitely a hornbill high up in the tree there. You can't really see it because I don't have a great zoom on my camera, but you gotta trust me. Yes, there's one beautiful hornbill, but very high, high up in the tree. So yeah, hornbills are not very easy to spot here in Sarawak, but I must say that here at PSL Nature Reserve, I think one out of two times I'm here, I would see a hornbill. You gotta know where to look. There's a, a nest here somewhere and they live in the trees nearby. And actually there's two right now, a, probably a little couple. And they're all just hanging out nicely in the tree. So yeah, if you wanna see hornbills in Sarawak, come down to Piazzao Nature Reserve right here in Miri. <laughs> Right, the sun is about to set and where better to see a good sunset than here at Coco Cabana at the marina. And I must say, I know that Miri has some of the most beautiful sunsets in all of Sarawak. Alright, let's check out this sunset. So this Coco Cabana area was recently, well a couple years ago, was developed into a very happening kind of place. There are bicycles that you can rent. There are some little bars and stalls and uh, yeah, it's just a really cool place to uh, spend a couple of hours. So yes, yeah, Sarawak has some uh, really decent sunset, but uh, nothing really trumps the sunset you get from here, from Coco Cabana right here in Miri. The sunset is, well, beautiful. It's been a long day, saw a beautiful sunset, and now it's time to eat. I'm here at the Pujud bus station, which has an amazing Ruma Asap, which I believe is one of the first Ruma Asaps here in Sarawak, and it's time for some Bobby and beer. I well deserve beer after a busy busy day now this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching 
you like this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. And uh, for now, this is it. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.